YouTube, I get asked a lot about the uh, multi-man, if I could go online with these uh, multi-man games, and I'm going to show you how um, I do go online. So basically, this is what we have. We have uh, Batman Arkham City in the actual CD-ROM. That is the, um, the actual game that's in there. So I'm going to start up multi-man. Okay, so the game that I am going to go online in, uh, online with is WWE 2K14. I'm going to press X to load that up. Okay, so now if we go to the uh, CD-ROM tray, it's telling us WWE 2K14 is in there. Okay, so now what we have to do is, this is the way I do it. I go to Network Settings, Internet Connection, I disable that. I go to Media Server Connection, I'll disable that. I don't think this one is needed to disable, but I'll do it anyway, just to play it safe. Next thing I want to do is start up something called PSN Patch. Uh, version 2.45 is what I'm using. I'm going to press X and uh, cover the screen just because there are some numbers on the screen that pertain to um, my ID and my system and um, I don't want to get banned if um, this does get uh, leaked online my um, ID so I'm gonna go ahead press X that'll load up. I'm gonna cover the screen Okay, so there it tells you my ID numbers and this and that. And basically all you need is the last thing. Press X to spoof. PSID and IP IDPS and disable custom firmware. So I'm going to do that. Press X. Does what it has to do. Basically, um... Disables your custom firmware from being detected online. So now if you go into it again, it'll tell you everything is um, already disabled. And there you go. So everything's already disabled. Press O to cancel. That's good. So that means we're safe to go online now. So I'm going to go back to uh, network settings and enable. Go back here, go back to network settings, I'll enable my internet connection, I'll go down here, enable media server, and now I'll go to here, and I'll sign in. I'm going to cover the screen once again, because I don't want my, um, this uh, phony email address that I'm using. Um, I have an actual account, which I do use on my uh, PlayStation 3 and my PlayStation 4, um, which I use to go online for uh, legit purposes. But in this case, I have a uh, phony email address, so I'm going to cover the screen because I don't want that um, also to um, be displayed. Alright, so I'm signing in. And there you go, I'm signed into PSN. So now, all I have to do is start up the game. There you go, press X. So right now I am logged into uh, PSN with my custom firmware 
uh, disabled and the uh, PSN ID and whatever else um, spoofed, so it's um, it's hidden. So uh, they cannot detect that I'm using custom firmware, and uh, they cannot detect that I'm using a, a bootleg game. So I'm connected to PSN. I'm going to start up the game and connect the uh, game online. We're going to go to uh, online. And there you go, I'm connected. So I've tried this with this game, I've tried this with um, Call of Duty Ghosts, I've tried it with, um, what the hell was the other one? There was a third one I tried it with and um, no issues so far. Um, I know they do release um, updates to this uh, PSN patch um, pretty often I believe. Um, I'd say as soon as it comes out just patch it. Um, uh, the same thing with our uh, multi-man, uh, always patch that to the uh, latest version. Um, if you have any, um, if there is a, um, a firmware update, custom firmware update, also patch that. I'm using uh, Rogerio 4.55 version 1 and I'm using uh, multi-man version 4.55. get out of here and um, basically to undo the um, the uh, PSN patch where it um, hides your uh, disables your custom firmware all you have to do is turn off the system so the first thing you want to do is um, load the game through multi-man before you run the uh, PSN patch so you load the game through multi-man then you disable your uh, network things then you go into a PSN patch you run that uh, disable your custom firmware, enable your um, network settings, and then uh, log into uh, PSN, then start the game. Um, if PSN patch is enabled, uh, you cannot go into uh, multi-man, as multi-man will not work. It blocks um, the uh, custom firmware. That's how it tricks um, the system into uh, going online and you not being detected. So the first thing you want to do is definitely start up multi-man, load up your game, once the game is loaded, go to network settings, disable that, run your PSN patch. Once you do that, enable your uh, network settings, log into PSN, then you can start up your game. Um, a bit of a pain in the ass, but um, you know if this is the way you've got to do it, then uh, so be it. Um, if you don't do this, then you're basically going to get your console banned from online. Um, so you won't be able to connect to the PSN servers at all with this console um, so this is just a uh, quick little bypass if you're using uh, multi-man games and you do want to connect online if you have any questions just uh, let me know